lived in utter loneliness, neither here nor there. Kit said that solitude was a better word, because it meant more exactly what I wanted to say. Whatever the expression, I told him we couldn't go on living this way. Why not? I mean, I'm having fun. At least I'm not bitching. Well, I feel like a kind of like an animal living out here. There's no place to bathe and not any place to get anything good to eat. Well, I'll catch you a big trout as soon as we get to the mountains. Everybody loves trout. I'm serious. In the distance, I saw a train making its way silently across the plain, like the caravan in the adventures of Marco Polo. It was our first taste of civilization in weeks, and I asked Kit if we could have a closer look. Before we left, he shot a football that he considered excess baggage. Afterwards, he took and buried some of our things in a bucket. He said that nobody else would know where we put them, and that we'd come back someday, maybe, and they'd still be sitting here, just the same, but we'd be different. And if we never got back, well, somebody might dig them up a thousand years from now, and wouldn't they wonder? <laughs> 